The coronavirus outbreak in China growing by thousands of cases a day. Well, the CDC says 15 people in the U.S. have now contracted the illness. This morning, Chinese officials say they've confirmed around 64,000 people have gotten sick and roughly 1,400 have died. Carter Evans is tracking the worldwide response to the outbreak. More medical teams arrived in China's hard-hit Hubei province Thursday as officials confirmed roughly 1,700 health workers have been infected by coronavirus and six have died. <laughs> Meanwhile, after the Japanese government reported its country's first coronavirus death, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe vowed to ensure the safety of this summer's Tokyo Olympics. In Cambodia, that country's prime minister greeted passengers of a cruise liner that began its trip last month. Thank you. They were finally allowed to disembark after several countries turned them away, even though there were no confirmed cases of coronavirus on board. We're very, very pleased to be in your country. It's good to step on land. The risk to the San Antonio public remains low. And in the U.S., officials in Texas confirmed the 15th domestic case of the disease. One of the evacuees from Wuhan to arrive at Lackland Air Force Base last week is now being treated at this hospital. The risk is low for the American people, but that could change. Dr. Anthony Fauci with the National Institutes of Health specializes in prevention of infectious diseases. The message is stay calm, don't get frightened, and let it influence your life right now. Well, UCSG Health says it's currently treating two coronavirus patients and a third patient is under investigation. Meanwhile, San Diego-based Innovio Pharmaceuticals is one of several countries nationwide racing to develop a vaccine. They've already tested it on animals. Human trials are set to begin early this summer. Jerika? Carter Evans, thank you.